Hey everybody, and welcome back to the Washington Reloader channel. I am your host, Jared. I'd like to take a second to apologize to all of my viewers, especially to my subscribers, for the length of time it has taken me to publish these videos lately. Uh, work has gotten really busy for me uh, with the turning of the weather, and that's given me a lot less time uh, to make the videos. All right, let's get started. In our last video, we tested IMR's 4955. I was disappointed with both the group sizes as well as the deviation numbers. In this video, we tested Hodgdon's H4831SC. We paired it with Hornady's 147 grain ELD match bullets and Federal's 210 large rifle primers. We started the powder charges off at 55.2 grains and increased them up to 56 grains in 0.2 grain increments. We are hoping to see speeds of just above 3,000 feet per second. With all of this being said, let's take a look at the video. Our first group had a charge weight of 55.2 grains of powder and gave us a group size of 0.951 MOA. It gave us an extreme spread of 20 feet per second and a standard deviation of 8.3 feet per second. The second group had a charge weight of 55.4 grains of powder and gave us a group size of 2.374 MOA. It gave us an ES of 10 feet per second and an SD of 4.7 feet per second. The third group had a charge weight of 55.6 grains of powder and gave us a group size of 2.733 MOA. It gave us an extreme spread of 33 feet per second and a standard deviation of 14 feet per second. The fourth group had a charge weight of 55.8 grains of powder and gave us a group size of 2.159 MOA. It gave us an extreme spread of 89 feet per second 
and a standard deviation of 41.7 feet per second. The fifth and final group of the day had a charge weight of 56.0 grains of powder, but unfortunately I decided not to uh, to shoot the rounds because we ran into some uh, pressure signs with the last group. So here's what I think about Hodgson's H4831SC powder. I love the speed that this powder is producing for the 147 grain uh, bullets. We averaged uh, 3032 feet per second. I was happy overall with the extreme spreads and the standard deviation numbers that I got from this powder. I was also happy with the first group size, but then as you guys see, uh, things fell apart after that. Now if you've seen a few of my other videos, you might be thinking to yourself that I just must suck as a shooter based on uh, my group sizes. But as you'll see in some of my upcoming videos where I use some of my other guns, I'm pretty sure that this uh, Bagara just doesn't like those Hornady 147s. Or it doesn't like the seating depth that I have them at. If you have any suggestions on how to bring my uh, group sizes uh, down, please leave them in the comments below. Well, that's all I have for today's video. I want to thank you for watching. As always, if there's a bullet and powder combination that you'd like to see me test, please leave it in the comments. Remember to hit the like button and subscribe to keep up to date with all of my future videos. Also, if you like these videos and you find the information useful, please think about donating to the channel. All donations will be used exclusively in the making of more videos. You can find a link to my Patreon account below. Until next time, may your powder stay dry and your rounds hit their target.